This is an important uh, question involving this very important reaction. The very one that is used in the uh, Haber process that we talked about elsewhere. It tells me that I've got ammonia in equilibrium with N2 and H2 gases and it gives me Kp. It then asks me what would we expect to find in the system once it's reached equilibrium. Well, let's take a look at what Kp is actually going to be. Kp is going to be equal to the equilibrium pressures. Uh, so I'll write down the pressure of each of the products, N2, multiplied by the pressure of H2. And see that 3? That 3 becomes an exponent cubed divided by the uh, individual pressure of NH3 squared. That 2 becomes uh, an, uh, an exponent there as well. This, for this system at equilibrium, this um, temperature is equal to 6.1 times 10 to the negative fifth. Look at that number. What does that number tell us? Is it a big number or a small number? Well, that's a really small number. It's much, much smaller than 1. So which of these two things is favored, the numerator or the denominator? Well, mathematically speaking, because that number is much smaller than 1, the denominator has to be much larger than the numerator. So that tells us that at equilibrium, the amount of NH3 is going to be much, much larger than the combined amounts of the products N2 and H2. So the correct answer to this question is we're going to get a dominant amount of NH3 with some small amounts of N2 and H2.